Hey there, savvy home buyers and sellers. This is Jeff O'Leary, the Village Guru, Mississauga real estate broker. And today, this video is gonna go over the top five upgrades you can do to increase the value of your home. This video is great for home sellers, but it's also great for homeowners in general, cause hey, who doesn't wanna increase the value of the home? So anyway, can't wait to get started, let's go. So I love the topic of today's video because what homeowner does not want to increase the value of their home? I mean, you don't have to be selling in the near future in order to get something out of this. I always say if you're going to do renovations or do improvements to your home, why not do them ahead of time and enjoy them? And then when you eventually you do sell your home, well, you're going to reap the benefit of that also. So without further ado, let's go through the top five upgrades you can do to increase the value of your home. Upgrade number five, update your flooring. Gone are the days when people love carpet. In fact, I don't know anybody in this day and age that wants to have carpets in their home. In fact, most buyers, the first thing they say to me is, I'm gonna tear out all these carpets and install hardwood flooring. Guys, think about your house in terms of what a buyer's gonna see. Buyers don't wanna pay the money to fix things up. They'd rather just get it turnkey and actually pay you a lot more money for it. So when I look at it, hardwood floors are the number one thing, especially in the living room and family room and all the areas in the main floor. And let's face it, the price of hardwood has never been cheaper. In fact, probably for between $5 on the low end to $15 on the high end per square foot, you can get a beautiful hardwood installed. Now, if you can't afford hardwood, there's also some really high-end laminates. That's also another good option. So update your flooring. Number four, update your kitchen. Now, I'm not talking about a major renovation here, guys. I'm going to assume that the cabinets, the countertop, and the floor in your current home is in good condition. If it's not, then obviously it's a much bigger uh, job, but we're not talking about that here. What I'm talking about are the small details, almost like the diamond on a ring. So here's a couple of things you can do to spruce up your kitchen. So first off, update the fixtures in the kitchen. So the faucets, people love high-end things and it really doesn't cost a lot of money. Number two, how about the, the fixtures on the, the cabinets? So the knobs, a lot of times knobs get dated really quickly. So updating them with a nice brush nickel, uh, bronze colors in, and rose gold is in style right now, whatever works with your current cabinets, but it does have a good effect. And finally, my number one thing in the kitchen is get a nice backsplash. I go into homes that are really nice and for whatever reason, there's drywall behind the countertop. I mean, it's the perfect spot, doesn't cost a lot of money, maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars You can have a beautiful backsplash installed on a regular kitchen, not too big, and it just has such a good effect. If you wanna go on the cheap end, you know, nothing beats a, a regular nice white subway tile. And if you wanna go a little high end, you can go with like a Carrera marble or something like that because it's not a lot of square footage. And the, the, the effect that it has, you just can't underestimate it. Trust me, I work with a lot of buyers and when they see something really nice, especially like a backsplash in a kitchen, it's like the house has already sold itself. Upgrade number three, update your interior lighting. I have yet to see a home, well, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll take that back. I have yet to see a home that's not a custom build that has ever built with enough lights. Now, two ways to do it really easily is number one, replace all those builder basic lights in your hallways and your bedrooms with flush mount two, three light bulb lights. They look really good and provide a lot more light than the basic light that you get with your builder. Second, anywhere you have a table, so dining room, kitchen, dining table, replace the light with a chandelier, preferably a three to five light chandelier. You can get beautiful pieces for $150 to $200 at big box stores, and they're really good styles nowadays, and it just completes the room. Trust me on this one, get a nice chandelier. We do it with all our listings. That one? Yeah. It's not bad, actually. It's a good mix between its contemporary but not too modern. Upgrade number two, paint your walls and trims. Nothing provides a better return on investment than repainting your home. You've been living in it for a while. Maybe you pick colors at the time that went with your decorating scheme, but now we're looking to sell or at least sell in the near future. So you wanna pick a, a color palette that's neutral and also stylish for the day. If you're not good with paints and you're not, this isn't your expertise, it's easy for a few hundred dollars to get a paint consultation or if you work with a good real estate agent, plug on my end, that's provided for you free of charge. Now with baseboards, 
I like to stick to a high gloss white, keeps the dirt off and makes them look shiny new. I look at baseboards like rims on a car. They don't make the house, but man, they just provide that extra little pop when you're walking through. Last but not least, the number one upgrade I feel you can do to increase the value of your home is to get it home staged before you sell it. Home staging, guys, is totally underrated. In fact, I've said it before in a lot of other videos, I don't even think a lot of people understand what it actually is. Home staging is not renovating. I know I love the shows. It's about making your house look as big as possible, as bright as possible, and as neutral as possible in order to appeal to the most amount of buyers. Think about it this way. You're gonna highlight the positives of your home while de-emphasizing the negatives of your home. A trained home stager or a designer can go through your home and they just have that eye in order to make everything work the way it is. Then you can throw on accessories and things like furniture and instead of having a regular home that you live in, you've now turned it into something that looks like a magazine. And on top of uh, having that effect on buyers walking in, it also makes your pictures look way better because 99% of people look at homes on the internet. It's just gonna do everything for you in order to get you that more money. In fact, I think on average, a properly staged home, properly priced, is gonna get about four to 5% more than a non-staged home. So for all you non-believers, trust me, it is the best thing you can do. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my video on the top five upgrades to increase the value of your home. I'm Jeff O'Leary, The Village Guru. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.